This cave is too small. And this cave floor is too bumpy. This cave smells funny. <laughs> don't give up yet. I'm sure we can find a good cave. Good cave? <laughs> I don't think there is such a thing. Hey, guys, you have to see this. This is what we have to see. I think we can all fit. Follow me. What is this place? It's a cave of many voices. Listen! Hello! 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 Wow, a talkback! A big talkback! Hauga! Hauga! Oh no! What was that? <laughs> <laughs> Some roar, Ducky. Yeah, even I'm impressed. Oh, I sound big now. Yes, yes, yes. If I can talk big in here, Ruby, can you show me how to talk big in the Great Valley? You just think I talk big because I'm bigger than you. But if you were bigger than you, you'd talk bigger too. Hmm? But then, it wouldn't be big to you. Then, can you try to help me talk big? Please? I guess I can try. <laughs> <laughs> Me, great flyer! 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 Woohoo! to the secret mud pool a while, but I do not know if we are getting there. Maybe that why Tria calls secret mud pool secret. We're okay, as long as Chompers got their scent. <laughs> huh? Sniffer says, then we go in there too. This sure strange place for relaxing. I do not think I would be relaxed in here. No, no, no. It's not so bad. Ouch! Something bite, Petrie. Oh boy! A buzzing buzzard! <laughs> Me no think they taste good, Chopper. Yeah! Mmm, spicy. Well, at least you scared the stinging buzzer away. Oh no, here he comes again. <gasps> and he brought in all of his friends. Run! thinking about happy star days make me feel so sad. I didn't mean to make Ruby sad. I was trying to make her happy. Hey, I have an idea. Let's have a giving ceremony for Ruby. That is a very good idea. It is, it is. <laughs> and we can make it a surprise. <laughs> Me love surprise. <laughs> wait, everybody, wait! Um, what's a giving ceremony? A giving ceremony is when you give someone their favorite food, duh. 
A giving ceremony is a time for celebrating friendship, giving, um. <laughs> and also sharing. So what's Ruby's favorite food? I know that! It's sweet bubbles! Oh, yes, yes, yes! Sweet bubbles are her favoritest. They are! Then we'll go get them at the first sign of the bright circle. Yeah! We'll give Ruby the best star day ever! The water started coming in during the big sky water last night. I could not sleep with the dripping sound either. No, no, no. It was worse last night. Yes. Though there might have been less water if Chomper hadn't made those holes. Ugh. Yeah, so I thought we could go exploring and look for a new cave. Explore the, the secret caverns? I don't know, Chomper. It'll be fun, an adventure. I want to go adventuring, adventuring, adventuring. I want to go adventuring. I catch me tree by surprise. I don't think so. We'll look through caves both big and small. See funny rocks or a waterfall. There's more to see. Come on with me. So if you go adventuring, adventuring, there's just one thing. You know that you are going to Me no think mud good for wings. Now! Hey! Me got it, me got it! <laughs> me miss it. Yeah, but I won't. What if Ruby finds us? The surprise will be ruined. Ruby's busy washing, so now's the time to go. Where are we gonna find sweet bubbles around here? They don't exactly grow on trees. No, but they grow on vines hidden in the sheltering grass. Sh sheltering grass? <laughs> no, 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 no. It doesn't matter where they grow. If they'll make Ruby happy, we'll go anywhere to get them. Right? Right. Right? Let's go. Okay, too dark. We go back now. I think we should try this way. <laughs> okay, but the air is fresher this way. I think we should go the way we can see best. <laughs> hey, Spike, nice job. Yeah, yeah great. Right? <laughs> going the way we can see will let us see the way we're going. Sarah? I suppose. Okay, then let's go this way. If only Sharp Teeth lived here, so I could ask them about teeth. Huh? <gasps> what about Ruby? Ruby? She doesn't have any teeth! But she's lived in the mysterious beyond, where there are lots of sharp teeth. Maybe she has seen this before. You think so? Mm-hmm. Ruby knows many things. She does. She does. Maybe she fixed tooth. But she's not here. And what if she's not back by nightfall? I could fall totally apart by then. Then we'll just have to go find her before that happens. Um, not that it will happen. But we do not know where the mud pool is. Say, Chomper good smeller, 
Maybe he follow Ruby's smell. I'll sure try. We too close to Mysterious Beyond. Don't worry, Petrie. We'll be fine. doing here? We're here to pick sweet bubbles. Bah! These are my sweet bubbles. Get your own somewhere else. We came for sweet bubbles and we're leaving with sweet bubbles. Got it? <laughs> Ew! That was gross. What we do now? I'm a sharp tooth. I can scare him away. Tree stars! Tree stars! Tree stars! Tree stars! <laughs> <laughs> you know, all the shouting is making me thirsty. And hungry, too. Don't look at me. <laughs> Chomper. Out in Great Valley, me saw a nest full of stinkily buzzing things you might like. Gee, that sounds great! Then let's go! Huh? <gasps> Everybody okay? Did you... did you see the bones? All his teeth were gone! Don't worry, Chomper. You still have your tooth. Hopefully, Ruby can help you fix it. Not if we can't find her. My sniffer led us into that cave. Oh, no! Maybe my nose is going to fall off next! <gasps> hey! Why didn't I think of it before? We can use the Looking Rock. Grandpa says you can see the whole Great Valley from the top. <laughs> hmm. 
something like a star day to make you feel nice and happy. Thanks, Petrie. Those stinky, buzzy things were spicy. Uh but good. Uh, not sure me want to hear details, but you're welcome. So who's ready to go explore the cavern some more? Uh, uh, uh. We're still eating, Chomper. You flat teeth sure take a long time to eat. Say, Chomper, why don't you go on ahead and we'll catch up with you? Great idea, Littlefoot. Uh, where Ruby and Ducky? <sighs> Ducky, I thought about it, and here's what I think. To talk big, you need to feel big inside. So if you can think big, you can talk big too. I can think of big things, like that tree. It is big. Good. Now be the tree. <gasps> I cannot be a tree. No, no, no. But you can pretend to be as big as the tree, right? Oh, pretend. I am a tree. Almost there. Almost there. Chomper, thank you. No prob. Sometimes me scare me. <sighs> well, I guess a lonely star day is better than no star day. Because if I didn't have a star day, then I wouldn't have hatched. And not hatching would be much lonelier than a lonely star day. <gasps> oh no! Earthshake!
than I care to see. <gasps> really? Why, sure, Chomper. You're going to lose all your teeth. All of them? <laughs> normal sharp teeth normally lose their teeth. So if you lost your tooth, you're a normal sharp tooth. I'm normal? Here, give me your claw. Feel that? That's your new tooth. New tooth? Yes, new tooth. And this new tooth will be new until you're old. Really? I feel so happy. I want everyone to see. It's like the bright circle is shining inside of me. I lost my <gasps> tooth. some mud, and then a tooth, and now they're excited about the mud again. Hey! <laughs> This was where we were going to have your giving ceremony. We even got your sweet bubbles. <laughs> These were for you, Ruby. Sorry your star day isn't so happy. Mm, but it is happy. It is? Sure, you didn't have to do what you did, but you did.
friends, my friends, hello. Hi, Ruby. <sighs> Hi. Hey, Chomper, what's wrong? Not much, I guess. I just need to find a new cave to live in. Hmm. There is always something wrong with Chomper's cave. Yup, yup, yup. Not always. Ruby and me are really happy your families let us stay in the secret caverns. Mm-hmm. Especially with Red Claw and his fast biters scaring everyone in the mysterious beyond. Okay, so what's wrong with your cave this time? It's leaky. It's a cave. How bad can it be? Come on, I'll show you. <laughs> uh, did Tria say what her surprise be? No, it wouldn't be much of a surprise if she did. Sarah's right. The best surprises are always surprises. Maybe Tria learned to fly. Oh. Well, that big surprise. Hello, kids. Nice Hello. to see you, yeah. Tria. So, what's the big surprise? Oh, Sarah, always to the point. Today, I'm taking you to my favorite place in all the Great Valley, my secret getaway. Oh, no. If it's secret, how do we know about it? Because she's going to tell us. Right? Yes, please tell, tell us. What is it? It's my secret... mud pool. Huh? We're going to a mud hole? Let's make a giving place. Shouldn't someone who knows a little more about giving ceremonies be the one giving the orders? Chomper? Littlefoot? It is Ruby. Oh, no, no, no. Ducky, Chomper, let's go stall her. Sarah, you finish setting up. Oh, hi, hi Ruby. 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 Is there something wrong? Uh, no, we're just, uh, uh... Coming back from a long walk and, um... We are very tired. We are, we are. Uh, 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 oh, well, I was hoping we could all get together and play together. Well, uh, we should probably take a rest. Maybe later. Oh. Okay, maybe I'll just go to my thinking place to watch my Star Day star. Okay, now that you're feeling big, let's talk big, like this. Fill your body big with air. <gasps> and you let it go from there. Open wide so you can say, you're feeling big today. I'm talking big. Big like a big, big tree. Oh, big like Saurus Rock. Yes! Big as big can be. I am talking big! Let's give it one more try. Stand up straight, now don't be shy. Your big voice will make you proud. Let it sing out loud. I am talking big. Now you're talking big. Big like a big, big tree. Really, really big. Big like Saurus Rock. Big like the biggest Ooh, big. Big as big can be. I am talking big. You I am talking big. big. <laughs> Thank you, Ruby. My friends, hello. Hi, Ruby. Er, Ducky? May I have some tree stars? Oh, yeah, sure. Here. Hey, are you trying to talk differently, Ducky? <gasps> oh, yes, I am. Oh, yes, yes. I, I mean, yes, Sarah. Since I feel big now, I am going to talk big, too. Uh, 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 uh. 
Well, it might be more convincing if you were a little taller. She'll be taller one day. Guys! Guys! Guess what? I found a new cave to live in. Come on, you gotta see it! Uh, gee, Chomper. It's pretty nice. Yeah, for a cave. Don't you just love it? And best of all, no stone teeth! <laughs> 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 This place not smell so good. If you lived here, I am sure you would get used to it. Yup, yup, yup. Oh, me not so sure. Right now, it wouldn't be so bad if I lost my nose. Hey! Oh no! Sinking sand! <coughs> Chopper, get out of there or sinking sand will pull you in. I'm trying. <coughs> <coughs> Brave Ducky. Yeah, we never make it into cave without you sneaking in first. <laughs> Sometimes being little is better than talking big. But I know I will always be big in here. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> <laughs> is not worth a whole you. But I can't be a sharp tooth without my sharp tooth. Oh, me not think of that. Chomper, <laughs> let go of your tooth and grab my tail. Please. <laughs> Chomper! <laughs> Okay. Me too. Me three. Aha. Uh -huh. But I'm not okay. My tooth is gone forever. How can I be a sharp tooth without teeth? It does not matter to us if you have sharp teeth or no teeth. That's right. You'll always be our friend, Chomper, no matter what. But what if Mr. Three Horns right and I turn to bones? Pools just past those trees. Maybe Ruby knows something. But Chomper does not want to leave his tooth, even if it is in the sinking sand. Me stay with Chomper. You go find Ruby and others. Thanks, Petrie. We'll be right back with Ruby. 